All right, we are here with War 9 against Nefty. Today is a very light war, and I'm taking in Howard the Duck Mantis and Magneto House of X. I'm sharing path 5 in section 1, and I'm sharing path 3 in section 2. Um, so pretty short and sweet war here. Howard the Duck unduped, so it kind of limited me going a certain direction to get Odin's for a fight later. Uh, and then, of course, the Man Mantis vs. Photon matchup. So, that's what we're doing on Path 5 in Section 1. We are taking Photon here on the second node behind this Rindra. Uh Game plan was to build mix emotions as I go, use the Sleep Heavy combo to drop the Ebb and Flow knockdown. Hopefully that Heavy pushes her to Special 1, bait the Special 1 that gives us an opening to go fight and we'll just push her to another special one slash build mix emotions again through either blocked hits or intercepts um, with the infuriate or the intimidate. So as we do that, we're building to special three. Once we have a special three ready, we're gonna want to have 20 mix emotions in that moment, charge a heavy for the sleep, knock down when it's done, throw the special three. That's the power back boost idea is that we if it doesn't KO her, um, we'll at least have a quick build up to the next special three. Um, and what I find during this fight is we actually take off chunks and chunks of photon to where maybe the special three <laughs> wasn't worth it. Um, but you will see that here in a second. So only kind of downside of how I play Mantis with this node and not risking constant intercepts is that she's building the uh, crit passives from the aggressive. Uh, ability on the node. So luckily Mantis's heavy is four hits so that at least takes four off and then with that I create openings and then I can take some more off. Um, the only worry here is obviously eating a special one or a combo while she has all of those because pretty much gonna be guaranteed crit. Um, so that's the idea behind the invuln boost instead of a PS1. Um, I push her into pure light here. That was also a nice little thing. So I'm gonna push her just shy of special one, let that pure light fall off because I'm not really in a rush. Um, and then once she's out of it, I decide to sleep. We could have done it during the pure light. It wouldn't have been a big deal. It would have expired during it. So another special one out, we go in combo. Again, I realized I was taking off chunks of health. So she's already at pretty close to 50%. Um, and at that point, I realized the power backs probably weren't needed. And that's kind of what I'm learning here. I also turned on max recoil just in case, but Mantis doesn't really need the power backs against Photon um, as long as you change your masteries. So, which is good because I'm pretty close to out of skill power backs. So it's gonna matter. Here we are at special three. Get the last mixed emotion, find the opening to charge a heavy, and this will end the fight. Let the heavy complete, throw the special three, and that tiny bit is an easy KO, especially with the added fury from Ebb and Flow. And then the last fight here, Kites and the Storms taking Colossus with Howard the Duck, placing the pre-fight for auto mash so that we only have to tap the screen once for our abilities instead of constantly spamming the button. Um, but basic game plan here was parry heavy. Uh, parry heavy, I went to special two, I think the first time, and then I kind of close it out with a special. Ooh, excuse me, a special one. Um, there are a couple times, I think that was one of them where my heavy didn't register. And I just assumed it was because I was trying to be too quick but this is pretty much a nothing fight. Colossus being here just kind of forces a matchup or a counter. Um, yeah. This is it. <laughs> special two coming up. Wanted to heavy one more time there. It didn't work out. Made out a special one and special two. And go right back at it. You might actually KO with a special or with heavy attacks. I don't remember. And down he goes. So that was the end of my war, like I said. Super short, super sweet.
With that, I am now at 38-0. So end of three weeks, no deaths, low fight load though. Uh, and then we ended up losing that war. So we are six and three, still kind of sitting in a good position that if we win one or two more, we're locked in top 10. Um, but so far, good season, no surprises as to our losses. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, give it a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next war.